now here is the problem every time we save with the user every time we are going to save inside docs if we make this file name dynamic resume every time then it will save if you want to save multiple items then it will make some problem i think so we should create a dynamic value for it the dynamic value would be the name so the name we already make a short name for it this is the user short name we are going to use in here double quotation mark plus plus or double quotation mark just write this four thing and here in between them pass this short name okay let's delete this resume dynamic resume actually we are just saying dynamic resume but truly it is not dynamic it so we need to make it dynamic we are going to use a if else condition if we have a input field with name of theme so we are going to use it request dot body dot theme is equal equal blue if this is blue then it will do something otherwise it will do other thing if the theme is green actually if you have more than two two theme then what you can do make a if else condition actually not if else this is else if make a else if condition else if and in here just copy this if this theme is green then it will do it will set some another value for the theme and at the very bottom we'll have a else condition for setting setting now i am going to just cut it from here and paste it inside if condition as well here i am going to set some dynamic value for that let's make a function and actually not function this is a object theme options okay this is an object inside theme option will have few values the first one will be left text color for now it is empty next we'll have I miss this equal okay A whole body color we are going to change those elements for blue and green theme you can make multiple elements inside theme options write text color this is also empty for now left b background color okay actually we are going to use this theme option inside our dynamic resume inside this function okay so let's use it theme option and we are going to use another parameter that is request dot body body okay now we have three we have two parameters so we are going to set these two parameter inside dynamic resume okay in here we, are, we need to set these two parameter first one will be options and second one will be theme options let me copy this theme option and paste it inside if condition as well so this lab text color for blue resume will be go to blue resume what was the lab text color it was this so let me copy this and paste it here as well okay blue resume left background color was this so let me copy this 
and paste it here as well save it what was the whole body color this was the whole body color for boo and what was the right text color actually light text color would be the same with this left background color okay now we need to use this theme option inside this uh, inside this video create okay so let's use it inside dynamic resume at first inside box give a give a dollar sign and curly braces here we are going to use theme option dot whole body color body color copy this and inside left side i think here we need to pass this in the place of whole body color we need to pass left text color the another variable is left background color copy this once again in the place of background color dollar sign curly braces theme options dot paste it here left background color and in right side we'll have a dollar sign color braces theme options dot right text color copy this and paste it here as well perfect now we need to change those value okay this house number address and everything actually we want everything dynamically set request dot body by using this variable we are getting all the input value from our from our user input form and we are using it as a parameter so inside this parameter request body we have this option actually just think this option mean this request body the both are same okay here i just name it to option you can name anything okay by using this option we are going to set everything dynamically at first we need to set the name so search for name where it is this is static we need to make it dynamic so this would be options dot name just copy this dollar sign and this curly braces one more thing you can make more input field for example input field for images you can upload those images to server but i'm not going to do it you can make a uh, you can make a input field where you can link the image so it will add inside your so let me replace the phone number and this would be phone i guess copy this and paste it below the both phone number will be same and this is for email replace with email have input field for father's name mother's name this is father's name here we are going to change it to f underscore name and this is for mother name m underscore name and we also have input field for data data birth but make sure this this name does match with uh, this should match with this dynamic resume name 
in here okay expertise area this is what is the input field name exp underscore one okay one two three exp underscore one let me copy and paste it in here and in here this is exp expertise two this is exercise 3 here in the place of all we can say skills next try it out open open your browser and reload the page once again now this time fill all the forms so it will show the dynamic value in your resume okay this is comma separated list submit it it's saying assignment to constant variable this is where we made a mistake this should be a lead variable if we make it const then we can't change the value of this variable later on so we need to make it late so we can change it later okay reload and confirm form submission okay here we have this name about me is not changed but this father's name mother's name and date of birth has been changed everything is working and we have saved, saved this dynamic value with name of md shion here is our about me here we need to change something this is about okay once again submit the form let's check it out how it is working or not okay it has been submitted and this about me also has been changed okay everything working perfectly right now